Welcome back, nerd friends. It has been far too long. We're going to take a look at the XD10 Pro brushless combo for drifting. So let's get into it. This is the 100 amp rated XD10 Pro fully featured censored brushless speed control targeted at the uh, drifting world, obviously. It comes in uh, several different colors. This one is red, but there will be a link in the description with all of the details as far as different colors that are available, turns of the motors and all that. We're going to cover some of the basics here next, but we'll, speed control comes in this wonderful plastic mount. That is recycle. And then you get your very lightweight, fully aluminum case. This is super shiny. The, the fit and finish on here is pretty awesome. The fan is not installed already because it's not really necessary for all of the applications. If you run in real hot conditions and stuff like that, a fan is included, but you're probably not going to need it for most of the drift stuff that's out there. And it has this sweet triple cap, which is very nice. Sensor port on the side, programming port on the top, and a nice decent length input harness. And the full length, of course, power wires as well with no connectors installed. Inside the box you have, like we mentioned, the fan, which is color matching and has this sweet case. Look at this guy. It is not a standard fan by any stretch of the imagination. It is a sweet aluminum, look cool, drift style. Look at that. Oh man, so nice. Comes with the screws and the hardware. Set that up here. And then also in the box are three bullet plugs for the motor. These are set up to go with the matching plugs that are on these motors, and we'll, we'll get to that here in a bit. But those are the nice, the easy to clean and retention. Like if your bullet plugs ever get loose and they don't stay in there snug, you can stick a small Phillips in there and open the gap back up and make them nice and firm. Uh, some double sided tape, some shrink tubing. A couple zip ties just in case your best friend in the whole wide world the instruction manual we'll get to that and a sweet set of hobby wing stickers so that's basics of what comes in the box with your xd10 pro let's take a look at the motor now of course since the speed controls are available in different colors the motors are also available in different colors so that you get that sweet matching look on there and it has that uh what i'll call opposite anodizing it's a multi-stage process to get that done but looks very very cool and like i mentioned these are pre-installed bullet plugs on here that the plugs that come with the, the speed control fit right into so you can have nice clean plugs and then removing of the motor or changing stuff out is real easy because you have the bullet plugs for cleaning and whatnot sensor port on the back it's got adjustable mechanical timing of course and it just looks very very nice this particular motor is a 10.5 turn and it is in the red coloring and i don't know can you see that in there and that is a fan that moves air through the motor because the drift rigs are using a lot of RPM. So all that RPM can get put to good use moving some air through the motor because the vehicle may not be moving nearly as fast as the RPM might make it want to or should be. Motor protector, two different length sensor harnesses. You get a short one and a long one. And once again, your best friend in the whole wide world, your instruction manual. Lucky for us, I do have some more of these. This is a 13.5 in the purple coloring. So take a, see how they, a little shine in there. My studio lights are not super awesome, but hopefully you're getting a good idea of just how shiny this is. This is that very, um, I guess you'd say, polished style finish of anodizing. So it looks very good to me. And then I also have a purple speed control. Now I know folks are getting real excited about what else they can use these speed controls on because drifters are not the only ones that want super cool looking stuff. So do all the racers. And these are XC run series in a 100 amp rating. So they're kind of in the spec turn range, 10.5 uh, to 17.5 turn motors. And we're going to get into a lot more about what's different about these drift systems later on. But for now, this is just a basic look, uh, I guess you'd say, but just a quick, 
unboxing and a, I guess, sneak peek, if you will, a little bit at the all new XD10 Pro series for drifting. Like I said, there's gonna be a link in the description down below with all of the fine details. I found that it's much more accurate to look it up on the internet and listen to my rambles, so. But just to cover some of the basics on these, they do have motor rotation. They do have the setup where you can change the order of the motor wires, because a big part of the drifters or a lot of the vehicles looking cool is the sequence of the motor wires. You want those to all line up real nicely. And this can do that, what we call AC swap, where you can make the, ro the wires change their designation, if you will. We'll get into all that, like I said, a little bit later. Um, but it does have motor rotation, so if you have a reverse transmission vehicle, this is all ready to go for that. So of course, they do have thermal protection on the speed control and the motor, and the best thing in the whole wide world, the reverse voltage protection on the speed control itself. Now, if these do get hooked up backwards, the power cap pack may be damaged, but the speed control itself will survive, and you can also install the accessory non-polarity power caps on these to benefit from, you know, no worries of any damage whatsoever. But these are fully featured. They have the turbo, the boost, all of the programmability that you're used to having in a XE Run series speed control, just kind of fine-tuned a little bit for the drifting. It works with the OTA Bluetooth device or it works with the LCD programming box. That's the one um, that has the blue screen on it. It's not going to work with the LED card, unfortunately. Programmable BEC output as well as the data logging and all that fun stuff that we're used to having in an XC run. Just available in a lot cooler colors and a build package that's suited for these applications as well. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions, please shoot us an email, NorthAmerica at HobbyWing.com, and check the description down below for a direct link for more information on all of the items here.